Mr. Speaker, on August 3rd and 6th, history was created as Julian Alfred won St. Lucia's first Olympic medals. Alfred won gold in the 100 meter in a time of 10.72 seconds. After being in the unenviable position of being the individual who ran the most races leading up to the 200 meter final, Julian pressed ahead in that final 60 meters to capture silver in the 200 meters. As the Minister for Youth Development and Sports, I want to officially congratulate Julian on her outstanding performance and put on record in this honorable chamber this government's delight in seeing the fruits of its investment bring glory to this great nation. In the 2022-2023 budget presentation, the Minister of Finance announced that close to $200,000 would be set aside to ensure, and I quote, the smooth transitioning of Julian Alfred from a collegiate athlete to a professional athlete. During that year, Alfred received monthly installments total in this amount from the Ministry of Sports to aid in her physical training, her mental preparation, her physiotherapy, and nutrition. Through her hard work, nearly three months after the financial year was ended, Julian struck gold. Now, Alfred's accomplishment on the world stage serve as a beacon of hope and perseverance for all St. Lucians. At every interview, Julian has indicated her desire and dire need to return home to a country to celebrate. In recognition of her outstanding accomplishments, the ministry, with the endorsement of the Cabinet of St. Lucia, through a competent planning committee, has organized a series of activities to foster national pride, unity, and inspiration, particularly among the youth, to celebrate her return. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell all St. Lucians that on September 24th, at about 1.56 p.m., Julian Alfred is scheduled to touch down at the Uranora International Airport. She will be received with the usual pump and the fanfare at the Jet Center. At about 3.30 p.m., Julian will then travel from Viewfort to Grosley via the East Coast. We invite all St. Lucians to be on the lookout as she passes through the various communities. As a government, we believe that Julian epitomizes the tenets of hard work, discipline, and determination, qualities that all young persons should emulate. Hence, on September 25th, Julian will address the youth of St. Lucia at two schools rallies, at the Sufre Mini Stadium and the Larissus Denry Playing Field. Of course, a visit of this nature will not be without the officialdom, as a small formal reception will be held for Julian later that evening. Julian hails from Cicero and attended the Cicero Primary School. It was there that her sprinting ability was first scouted and harnessed. As a cabinet, we saw it fitting to paint a mural of her at the school, which will be unveiled at a short ceremony on September 26. Two other activities organized by First National Bank on the body holiday will also take place on this day. The Prime Minister in his wisdom has declared September 27th as Julian Alfred Day, a national holiday. We encourage all St. Lucians to go out and purchase their best national wear and ensure that they are decked out in the colors of our national flag all day long. No one should be seen on this holiday without their national wear. To culminate the celebrations, a cultural showcase featuring local artists and performers will take place at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground from 4 p.m. St. Lucians are invited to come out to celebrate Julian's remarkable achievement and a role as an inspiration to the creative arts and sports in the communities. As we did during the CPL home games, we are expecting the Darren Sami Stadium to reflect a sea of blue. The Prime Minister will also make pronouncements on how the government intends to recognize Julian for her achievements. As a government, we have heard and listened to the suggestions of our people, 
And I can guarantee that whatever gifts and other recognitions Julian will receive were suggestions from the public sphere. We will also invite the other Olympians to return to St. Lucia to celebrate with us, and they too will be recognized for being worthy sports ambassadors. St. Lucia has been on an exceptional high this year. St. Lucia has been on an exceptional high this year. <laughs> Having hosted an exceptional jazz festival, the best carnival in the region, and a superb ICC Cricket World Cup being touted by many as the best venue during the global event. Mr. Speaker, for us to continue on this upward trend in sports development, the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports invite everyone to play their part in developing sport. Go out and support the business end of the semi-professional league. A first ever champion will be crowned in October. Go out in support of our youth in the alternative sports season. A new calendar of activities will be released in the coming week.